All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all are doing well. We are off to the Battle of Berlin. Here's the video on it. Soviet forces finally liberated all occupied Soviet territories by mid-1944 and went on an all-out offensive. The Red Army advanced into the Baltic states, Czechoslovakia, and Poland. The battle moved into Austria, getting ever closer to Germany. The Yalta Conference took place in February of 1945. The Allied heads of state, Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin, agreed on the overall strategy in Europe. This included a post-war separation of liberated territories into spheres of influence and the creation of the United Nations. By March of 1945, the front line was only 40 miles away from Berlin. A huge German defensive line waited there with countless trenches, artillery batteries, bunkers, and anti-tank fortifications. To strengthen the defenders, Hitler ordered anyone who retreated without orders shot on the spot. The Red Air Force prepared for the assault on Berlin by taking detailed photographs of German defenses, softening them with constant air attacks and dropping leaflets on the enemy. The battle for Berlin would be the grand finale of credit the game designers. This video, I think, is pretty well made. History. The battle that the Soviets were determined to win. Yeah, they chose some good footage. By April the 25th, 1945, the ring around Berlin was closed. The encircled German capital housed a gargantuan army. But a small force compared to what Germany lost in previous battles. This army was all that remained in the way of the ultimate Soviet victory. This is our final battle. Well, actually, it's not the final battle we've got through. 26th of April. Escort bombers, because we haven't done that recently. Alright, large-scale bombing raid, that could be cool to watch. And actually, the escort missions in this game have not been too bad. So we'll get to see how they render the city of Berlin. We'll get to see a heck of a lot of fighting. And we will get to strike into the heart of the Reich. Now, of course, this is a PlayStation 3 version. So, I'm sure PC people will say that the graphics are better on PC. But, things are still pretty good. We're flying actually a pretty good plane for this mission, if I recall correctly. And of course, very fitting for the final battles of this game, we are escorting Flight of Ill to Storm. Uh, you have to in this mission. I know this is a 4th of July video, but I think any mission where you fight Hitler... That's the way the game is designed. And of course, historically, it was the Russians who took Berlin, so there's not much you can do about that. Huh. Alright. Our bombers do not seem to have encountered them. Let's dodge. We'll bob and weave through all of this. And bombers, would you all kindly take them? Complete. Okay, well, now we need to do this one more time. 
Well done. You landed that bomb directly on top of the city. Kind of a dick move, but okay. Oh. Alright, there's a... This does give the impression of uh, quite a sprawling city. Now, I don't know if, you know, how accurate their depiction of the city is. But it is pretty cool looking, at least. Very bright out, though. I don't know how bright it'll show up in the video, but on my screen, it is very bright. Ah, finally, some air resistance. Something I can work with. And they're coming out of the incredibly bright light of the distance. Okay, they brought out the real air resistance now. Planes are a little difficult to see, actually, due to the background, under certain circumstances. I think I hit the pilot of that one. Now this is a dogfight. You're following somebody and all of a sudden like two or three more pop up in front of you. I thought that guy might be going down, actually. Oh, sure he's not. Avenge my comrades. Keep firing, you'll probably hit something eventually. There you go. Three enemies down in one turn. Let us gain air superiority here on the outskirts. some black smoke there. Just belching white smoke. Okay, am I doing something terribly wrong? What's going on here? Well, I did a barrel roll, so I guess it's alright. Barrel roll. I don't know Berlin very well. Okay, I guess that's just an airport. There's a big open space in the middle. Oh, what's this, an amphitheater? Indeed, it appears to be some sort of amphitheater. Rendered decently. So let's see if all of the enemy planes have aggroed and decided to... Now what's weird to me is we have a few airplanes up there who are not actually targets.
unfortunate decision for them. Now these enemies are actually pretty easy to shoot down. I'm a little... I won't say disappointed, because I feel like a badass right now. But, I'm a little surprised how easy these guys are. <laughs> As one of them almost takes me out with a kamikaze. Yeah, I'm not sure what my opponents are doing. You would think after I shoot down, like would probably begin to reasonably think that they should probably take care of me. I think we now match their numbers or are very... Shit, someone's got my number. This is one thing about air combat. I'm both the hunter and the hunted right now, so I have to evasively follow him. Jeez, look at all these bullets flying around me. I don't know if it shows up on your screens. I hope it does. But man, there were a ton of bullets flying around me. Jeez, look at that. How am I not being torn apart? Help? Yay, allies. There you go. Ta -da. Hey, you know what would be exciting? If we left the engagement area. That was a pretty good ending to the mission. God, look at my, uh, my left wing. You're right on the screen right now. Jeez. Well, as turns out, I still know how to make an invasive maneuver or two if I have to. Belching this beautiful black smoke. Let's see if I can make designs in the air. <laughs> well, let's see. You know how planes, um, can, like, write messages in the air with sort of... Um... You know. Let's see if I can write fuck Hitler in the air. <laughs> that, that would be kind of a hilariously immature thing for a World War II pilot to do. German citizens just look up in the sky and see fuck Hitler. Andrew Denlof's diary. April the 26th, 1945. It's a good plane. Our ground forces broke the German stronghold and made it into Berlin. The sense of pride and relief was overwhelming, and reports suggested the Luftwaffe were all but extinct. The reports were wrong. Very, very wrong. The Messerschmitts destroyed a whole squadron of our reducers as we could only sit and watch. We soon avenged our comrades' deaths, but with hollow feeling and little sense of victory. So it seems almost like the Germans let us get in that first bombing run just to ambush. There is no place in war for Harriers. There's certainly no time to be abandoning flight escorts. I'm sorry, my comrades. 
I salute your bravery and do not rest until your death serve a purpose and we take Berlin in your name. Alrighty, two missions more to go. So ill two is Ill illusions. <laughs> I, I like how they're playing this off like, oh man, we're really emotionally connected. Now, game designers. Let me explain something. Now, you all should know it's just my opinion, but I think most people would agree. It's hard to have an emotional reaction when you don't know any characters in the entire game. I mean, I guess we know um, Andrew Denilov a little bit. We don't know any of the people who died. That would make it so much more emotional if it were set up. Now, I, I will say that it was actually kind of, um, sort of made you jumpy and surprised at least when you first saw the uh, all of your planes getting shot down. So that worked. Anyway, we are going to move on to the next mission.